Good afternoon, good afternoon. Y'all already know what we finna do. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We finna see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We have the Two of Swords with the Five of Pentacles here. So somebody being left out in the cold or not having uh, much resources, that's going to be blocked. That energy is getting blocked out. Somebody is going to be in the Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, uh, receiving things being fair and balanced. Somebody is going to have... Uh, complete happiness, reward, peace, joy, okay? The promises, beautiful promises to them. And so this energy, this Five of Pentacles energy is getting canceled. Yep, new life victory. That that energy getting canceled out. Somebody gonna have a fruitful life here. The Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles right on top. You're gonna have foundation, security, Leading a legacy here. Okay. Whatever uh, skills you have, wielding your power here, that's what is going to lead you. Your artistry, that's what's lead that's what is leading you to here. Leading you into a new life. Leading you into a new life here. You're going to have partnerships and things of that nature too as well. Also, there's going to be people in regret here that were in uh, demonic behavior towards you. That may be even teamed up against you. A king of cups, an uh, emperor, maybe two different people. Maybe a son and a father. Um, a son and a father, or just two people. Somebody could be older than the other, but Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, or a Capricorn male. Somebody is going to be reg in regret at a missed opportunity, or this is the same person. Uh, they go to regret a missed opportunity in order to team up and work with you here. This person backstabbed and betrayed you here. Ten of Swords. When they ran this demonic energy here and they teamed up to do so and even to block whatever projects you have working on here with this lining up. This King of Cups is going to be in the Five of Pentacles and this person is going to be completely ruined, backstabbed, and betrayed. Okay, you are this goddess energy. You're getting justice here. You can have Libra in your chart or Taurus. Also, uh, balance is coming in for you. You can have Libra in your chart where you would get balance all the time. Also, in your Venus, you can have Libra. In your Venus, you can have Taurus. In your Venus, you can have Capricorn. In your Venus, you can have Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this person had backstabbed this goddess energy here. But you will receive justice for that. Yep, they got an empty victory here. It was a whole lot of jealousy here. An empty victory. Somebody tried to have victory over you here. Maybe even a friend of yours here. They could have celebrated with, united with to come up against you. Also traveled with. They partnered up with this individual, Two of Cups. An Aries Leo Sagittarius. Or Scorpio. Masculine or feminine. But they're meeting a tower here. Something unexpected is going to happen to these individuals. Maybe even on a travel. But they celebrated being jealous of you. They celebrated coming against you here. But that is an empty victory here. These people are going to walk off with unsettled emotions. They had a plan for you. But people can't get in the way of divine plan. See, other people have plans for evil for you, but the divine got another plan for you. You're also very beautiful, too, as well here. On top of having all of this going on. Yeah, you laid to rest wanting to take a leap of faith with this masculine because this person was uh, cold-hearted towards you, didn't show you any love here. 
So they laid to rest being able to have a new passionate beginning with you, to have a new passionate beginning and celebrate with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Somebody could have, this mask could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. But this person was definitely in, uh, they tried to have new endeavors with this person. Okay, complete happiness with this individual. They gifted this person in breadcrumb Jew and try to have home and reward with this other individual they did this in the past this is somebody from your past i don't know why they didn't just bum rush to read but this is somebody from your past here or they dealt with somebody from your childhood here i think they bush uh rush to read and because they want to have a renewal with you they want this complete happiness with you but they went against you, see? The Knight of uh, Swords. And this is the truth. They wanted to be a whore and a player, Knight of Wands. And you have knowledge of what they did here. But they want you to act like everything is fine. But they chose somebody over you here. Yep, they tried to build with somebody. Build a home. Have abundance and have a harmonious relationship with somebody else. But it just ended up being chaotic here. And this person was also in competition with you. Could be a triple confirmation of a Sag, triple confirmation of an Aries, and then we have Leo. So this person, what it, they thought that this relationship and this home that they created with this person was going to be abundant and fulfilling. But it just ended up being chaotic because... The person that they turned their back on you for and traveled with and celebrated with, that person was in competition with you. Jealous of you. Trying to compete with you. And nine times out of ten, they wanted to be who? Say it with me, y'all. You. So this person is a loser. And you really had love for them. You wanted a new passionate beginning with them. You're actually this temperance abundant energy. That this Sagittarius Aries Leo were comp was trying to compete with. See how that's broken up here? You're actually this loving energy here. Uh, this temperance energy. You could have Sagittarius in your chart too. And your sun, moon, rising or north node. But you were the actual Queen of Cups loving abundant energy here. See, you're coming out as the Queen of Cups to his King of Cups. This was a Queen of Wands that they was with. It wasn't even a damn match. And that's why they didn't come out as no motherfucking match. You are the Queen of Cups to this person's King of Cups. This person chose lust and passion over actual love. This person chose a karmic. And it was your friend. Or their friend. Yep. They put an end into whatever you all had going on to be and work and commit to this Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And they felt like they were fully satisfied, held back from you in the past here. They renewed something with this person here, with the star, and they went against you for it. And this is being illuminated. See now they coming out as this person's match here. Look, the King of Wands to the uh the King of Wands with the Seven of Swords. This person did sneaky underhanded shit to you here and stalked you and spied on you. But now they're coming out as this person match. You wanna know why? Because in that same deceitful demonic ass energy, just like this motherfucker. <laughs> but you also could have had a death and a rebirth. You could have transformed. You hold divine power. Because the whole time you were this person's soulmate here. You are the higher font. You are love. You are, you were the blessing. And they broke your heart. Three of swords. And then if it came in reverse. So you could be no longer heartbroken about this person. But this person could be suffering in this higher form of commitment that they chose over you here. Panicking, worried about a lot, being manipulated. If they're getting manipulated by this person that they're with, this Queen of Swords. Or they were manipulated uh, by this person here. Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo. 
Aries Leo Sagittarius. But you transform. You saw the truth. You had a metamorphosis. You saw the truth. You hold divine power. You got clarity on this player who was supposed to be your soulmate, but they're actually a player and a karmic. But you transform here. Law and liberty was brought into your life because you was the blessing. Higher fine energy. Queen of Cups, higher fine. Yeah, you committed to the most high. Eight of Pentacles. That's what you committed to while they committed to whatever that was. You committed to the most high. And this is why you wield this divine power, clarity, truth, and wisdom. And you were gifted by the divine with a new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, for all of your hard work too as well. And this is why you're going to be rewarded so beautifully. So if I was you, I'd lead a pass in the past. Because this person thought that they were traveling off with this person and gaining the victory. They could also be a cancer or have that highly aspected in their chart. They thought they was running off and getting victory and success with this woman. They celebrated it too, honey. They felt like you was the negative one and they sailed off. No, they were with the actual karmic and negative one that wanted to be like somebody. And they pretend like everything is fine with this wannabe ass bitch. Yep, it's hidden here. This Queen of Wands had hidden intentions the entire time. This person was wearing a mask. This person got duped. This person got duped and now they tied up financially with this cold hearted bitch. They could have even wanted to tie up your finances too. But you were the Ace of Cups and this is, they ended their Ace of Cups. They ended their, they ended the blessing. Now they karmic. And now they could be infatuated with you and wanting to communicate with you here. But you could have ended this cycle because you learned the lesson. You learned from the negativity, you healed, and you swam off the calmer waters. And now you're divinely protected in a partnership with the divine here. And it could have been unexpected to this individual because they were a liar. Look, this is what they expected you to be in. <laughs> they wanted you to feel lied to. They didn't want you to have happiness. They, wanted, they thought that you was going to feel mentally entrapped by them being with this queen of pentacles, queen of wands. They also thought that you was going to be stressed and burdened, ready to even, maybe even take your own life, be sad, be remorseful because they sacrificed you here. <laughs> this is what they thought, but no, this is the energy that they will be in with this uh, wannabe partner. Because who will want to be with somebody that want to be like somebody else? If you would have been like this over this person, they would have been happy. This was this was their wishes. This was their wish fulfillment to have you like this. To lie to you, have you mentally entrapped, have you up worried, crying, having nightmares over them, and being in sorrow and sacrificing things in your life for them. But judgment was called here. You got healing. You were rescued actually in the past and you renewed yourself spiritually. This was an attack here. When this person offered to you, it was a form of attack. And you have knowledge of this. And this is why you turned your back here. To the heartbreak, you turned your back to people breadcrumbing you and holding back energy from you. And look how you blossom so beautifully. You're the empress. And you have multiple options and choices of what you can have in life and who you can have. And that is your justice and balance. Will of fortune in your favor. Wow, the will of fortune, justice is them getting karma, being with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Cancer female that has hidden intentions that always wears a mask. They actually, you know, you know what it remind me of? This person remind me of Chainsaw Massacre that would want to wear somebody else's face. But this is who they have a family foundation with here that they really low key. In the background, they want to walk away from it. They want to walk away from celebrating with this person and renew things with you. They actually want to travel towards you. Look, splitting the deck again, they want to walk away from this person that they committed to. And that is the truth underneath it all. But yeah, that person remind me of Chainsaw Massacre wearing your face. <laughs> and that's sad. This woman need to learn to love herself. 
trying to wear another woman's face just to have somebody or wanting to be like another woman just to have somebody. Now that's some low self-esteem. You done fucked up then for yourself. Not over this empress goddess person. For yourself. You should feel low as hell. I would want to run. <laughs> I would want to run. I would be so embarrassed and hurt. I wouldn't even. Mm -mm. I wouldn't even want to claim this shit. And then you in, and then you in this commitment and you happy, but this person is really not happy. So you just with somebody, y'all settling. Two karmic settling. Two karmic energies settling. Yep, somebody all up in their head because they know they fucked up and they got a disease from this person. Undesirable test results or somebody was messing around on somebody. Yeah, this was their karma. Karma. And this person always tracking this person everywhere they go, who they talk to, what they do. This person be up this person's ass. And this person stopped taking birth control so they can uh, get pregnant by this person. Confirmation. Whoever this woman is, it could have been your friend or somebody, they two-faced it. Or they are their friend and they're two-faced it here. And they everybody bay in this person's face, but no. They're their bay in this person's face and everybody bay behind somebody back. It could even be multiple women, too. I'm picking up on that. And they watch you angrily in the background. They mad as hell <laughs> at what they chose. And they be getting tag team doing black magic and sending hate. Or this person even had these people doing that, which is stupid. They have a lot of unhealthy habits with doing this black magic here. It's very unhealthy for them in their lives. In their lives. In their lives. Yep, being chased by these unhealthy people that smoke cigarettes and eat McDonald's constantly. Their whole life is a facade. And they be paying these women here. Or these women be paying him. Sex addictions. Yep, and they be all in your business and investigating you and shit. While these people online dating for money, abusing alcohol, and getting abused physically by each other. The same shit, different day. Some of them is on drugs too. Drug addictions, weed, coke, meth, pills, mushrooms. Take your pick. Look, no comment. They don't want to talk about that. Somebody got a lot of options here that they be having one night stands with. Somebody was lying, telling half truths. We have a drunk bitch that had a miscarriage and they tried to keep that shit a secret and keep it like a skeleton in the closet. But that drunk bitch had a miscarriage. And probably because they was uh doing that motherfucking black magic. So don't nobody feel sorry. For that shit. You did it to yourself. Let's pull some random messages here. Yep, we have backstab betrayal here. Not with my best friend or friend. Betrayal. That was sticking out. So either your best friend or they best friend. They want to try again with you, either your friend or they do. But I wouldn't try again with neither of these suckers. Let them have it. You have a new life. This person, somebody ended up pregnant by another man. And this is, and they probably said they had a miscarriage, but they was really pregnant by another man the whole time. Somebody is also on the down low that they be dealing with here. Somebody has a good heart. Are you are are you okay emotionally? How are you emotionally with going through this? Okay, it's okay to let your dark slash shadow side out when need be. You have to have a balance. You don't have to be good all the time. We know you got a good heart. 
somebody else is going to jail too as well. Somebody will be in jail or they in jail in this situation that they in. Somebody need to check on their emotional health and their spiritual health. Somebody got a situation ship on the side too. So this is just a hot ass mess. All they do is party with this situation ship here. Shit wild, cause it is. <laughs> Shit really wild. Somebody gonna pass away, funeral. Somebody need to learn how to love they so. Somebody is having sharp pains. Somebody's also in chaser energy here. Somebody is also a single father or will be. We own nothing. Everything is borrowed. So maybe a mother might pass away and somebody gonna become a single father. Okay. Look, somebody is unique. We own nothing. Everything is borrowed. Even your meat suit. You ain't gonna leave with that up out of here either. Know that you're cherished. Whoever is unique, you're cherished. It's time for you. Cherish you. You could feel like giving up on love at this time. Any of y'all in the bunch can have daddy issues. Whoever is doing this poly love, and they doing poly love, they got daddy issues. They accepting that because they got daddy issues. They accept love and war because they got daddy issues. Somebody's a selfish lover here. Okay. Whoever is uh, on stage or on some type of platform, they're in runner energy here. They say, you ugly motherfuckers ain't finna be mocking me while I'm on motherfucking stage, busy bone. So maybe you're on some type of platform where you be on stage and all of these ugly motherfuckers be trying to mock you in the background with they ugly ass. And then low key, they really want to make babies with you though, but want to mock you and shit. They really want to talk about the situation though, but want to mock you and shit. They really want to move out and move on from whoever this crazy love is that they got with somebody else here. But they mock you though. But just know that you will make it and you will have bliss. So they can mock all day. Because it'll get better for you and you will be going shopping too as well. You could be an extraterrestrial, in, extraterrestrial energy. You're out of this world. These motherfuckers basic and want to be you, but mock you. So, you could just tell who's really, you know, it ain't about who's winning or losing though, but you could just tell who got a good heart and who's in that good energy while these sorry ass people in the background. Because they sorry as fuck. I'm going to pull some uh, fuck it up six messages for you, Empress. I would for them, but they ain't fucking shit up. <laughs> they, 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 if they is fucking shit up, they fucking it up by trying to emulate and be you. So they don't get no fucking up sis messages. <laughs> it says, on today, can't nothing hold me down. Can't nothing hold you down, even this. They wanted it to, though. But since it didn't, somebody salty. It says here, today, I ain't worried about you, him, her, or your mama. I came to win, period. I was born and built for all this, bitch. Negativity block, self-doubt, nah, passion, endless, purpose, clear. I'm about to kill it. Today, I'm dipping and dodging that negativity. Positive vibes only over here. Yeah, you didn't dip and dodge you something, honey. You okay, I see you. It says here, I shouldn't be this fly, but I can't help it. I was born this way. So you fly. And then at the bottom, I, I do not need to earn love. I am deserving of love, period. Okay, Empress, you know. Meanwhile, these people trying to earn it. Have sex for it, poly situations, the whole nine. Because guess what? They don't love themselves. Look what's in my hand. Drake, fake love. Go listen to that. That could be significant. Drake, fake love. This person, this person tried to show fake love straight up to your face too. But these people dwell in uh, fake love. Look, they tried to show fake love to the illest bitch alive. Wale, illest bitch. Go listen to that. Big Sean, the baddest. Show them you the baddest then. But you really ain't got to show them because they partners want to be like you. <laughs> it's already been shown. We have here Black Londrell, Black Girl Magic. Janae Aiko, Happiness Over Everything, Future and Future. 
So we have here Drake, Fake Love. Janae Aiko, Happiness Over Everything, Future and Future. See, you got that whole thing going on in the sense of happiness over everything. And this person got some true hoes. I'm sorry, I can't help it. It says Big Sean, the baddest. Wale, illest bitch. And then we have Lindrell, Black Girl Magic. Only reason why I'm saying that like that is because these people really try to be you. And that ain't cool. But then try to mock you and talk about you in the background. That's lame. And then being that one of your friends mess with this individual too as well. I don't got no sympathy. But always forgive. Always have forgiveness. But you ain't got to be... Uh, these people could want to work on and try again, but you don't have to do that. You can forgive them and move on towards your new life because a snake has shed his skin, right? But say you accept these people into your new life. Then when you get new things popping and say you get another partner or something like that, who's to say that this person or this friend or whomever else ain't going to try to get them too because they want to be you so fucking bad and they can't have nothing for themselves. So you just have to be mindful and be careful. You can still love people, but love them from afar. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Gracious words are honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Yahweh heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. You were healed from this. Yahweh is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. We are the people Yahweh watches over, the flock under his care. Show me your ways, O Yahweh. Teach me your paths. Blessed are those who can give without remembering and take without forgetting. Shout for joy to Yahweh, all the earth. The best things are nearest. Breath in your nostrils, light in your eyes, flowers at your feet, duties at your hand. The path of Yahweh just before you. Give thanks to Yahweh for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. May you be filled with joy always, thanking Yahweh. Give thanks to Yahweh and proclaim his greatness. I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of gratitude and that gratitude is the happiness doubled by wonder. Let us be thankful and please Yahweh by worshiping him. Joy is the simplest form of gratitude. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. See, so by the most high being ahead of your life, he seen what this individual was trying to do to you. And the most high block that. Block that shit out because this is not your energy. You don't deserve to be left out in the cold or somebody choosing somebody over you. This is not your energy, but they wanted this for you. They tried to make this be your energy. No, you are a leader. You are skilled, you are creative, you are love, you are spiritual. You are a dream girl. And they try to lower that for you, but they, they got fucking humbled. Because they people want to be you and shit. <laughs> but, I'm sorry y'all, said he going. Know that Yahweh loves you. I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace.